Hi, I'm Tara Oracle, and this is a book review, predicting events with astrology from uh, Celeste Teal. So just a warning on the Amazon ebook. Um, it's terrible. It uh, does not have chapters. You can't move around in chapters. And you can't change the font. So if you don't like this font, and I'm going to change it to Bookerly, for example, you cannot do that on the copy that I purchased. Uh, so I ended up returning it and getting the physical book. Physical book cost me, I think, about $18 or something. So uh, this is, let's see, is this the first edition? No, this is a revised and expanded edition. So this is predictable, uh, predictive astrology, which is going to be your uh, progressed chart, is going to be your transit and things like this. So we have secondary progressions as sort of the first chunk. And then we have different types of readings. So this is kind of cool because a lot of times somebody will ask you a specific question. And so you have to look around the chart to find the answer. So you have love and marriage, which is going to be your meat and potatoes, right? Money and success, same thing. Children, same thing. Physical health, uh, mental health. I'm not sure if I've already got a mental health. Accidents and other misfortunes. Well, that's bad. Death and bereavement. Um, basics of return charts. Fine-tuning the returns. Uh, the return technique and practice and things like this. So, a lot of interesting stuff. Um, part three, the planets and other points. So, we'll talk about the sun-moon aspect, sun-mercury aspect, and things like that. So, it does sort of flip around a lot. Uh, in addition, some of the material is... I would say intermediate to advanced. So let me turn on the light. So some of the material, I think, in my opinion, is intermediate to advanced. So I, I bookmarked a copy here. So here we go. So this sentence basically says, to intensify the theme, transiting Mars is conjunct natal Pluto while in square to progressed moon, right? So, simple statement, transiting Mars is conjunct natal Pluto. So, you have a triwheel chart, and here's the transit, here is the progressed, and here's the natal. So, you basically need to eyeball um, the square. <laughs> I'm not good enough to eyeball a square, man. I rely on my, on my program or the website to give me to give me uh, some help because I can't I can't eyeball that I'm I'm not good at that so you're going to need to understand that this is natal so this is your natal and this is a progressed and the progressed is jacking it forward four years and then this is transit so any transiting planets uh, go around and round like that so uh, you'll need a website if you're going to follow along with your own chart or if you're going to type in this chart then you're going to need your an application that will do triwheels, or you're going to need a website that will do triwheels. So you could be looking at either spending some money or something like that. In addition, um, I mean, they assume that you can eyeball a square. They assume that you know what a transiting planet is versus this versus this. They assume you know what the meanings of the planets are, and they assume you know what a square is if you're doing predictive astrology. You probably know most of this. So, again, we're talking intermediate, um, you know, intermediate type of stuff here. So it's kind of nice that you have in the back. They'll talk about the basics of return charts. So, so sort of go on a, you know, back to the back to the hand holding mode at the very at the very back. So they talk about the different houses, and then she'll talk about retrograde stuff, and then the different planets, and then the return techniques and practice. So there are plenty of examples. I mean, it's chock full of examples. For, for $18, you're looking at, what, about 309 pages of meat? So you get 309 pages of meat for 18 bucks. So that's, I mean, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. At least they don't put like a huge ephemeris in the back of this thing. So overall, I would say this is a pretty good book if you were intermediate. In other words, you know what a transit is. You know what a progressed chart is. And you're going to know, you're going to be able to follow along with your own PC applications and things like this. Just overall, 
Um, it's a pretty good book, and I think it's a decent book for for that space to where you need a bit more as far as astrology is concerned. So a lot of times you're in you're in that situation where okay, I've learned planets and houses. I know what a transit is. Where do I go from here? So this would be a, a decent book to go from there. However, if you just want to get a book and sort of be a little more hand-holding, uh, I'll do a separate review on Bernadette Brady's The Eagle and the Lark, Predictive Astrology. This, this one is much more hand-holding, much more like starting from, uh, starting from intermediate. In other words, I know what all the planets are. I've been through the basic astrology book numerous times. I know what everything is. This one is going to be a little better for you. I'd recommend this over this one because this one really sort of maps out how everything is, is going with the natal, the transit, and things like that. And it makes it super easy to, to sort of merge into that predictive space. And if you're doing any real work, if you're doing this at psychic fairs, if you're doing this for people, if you want to make money, um, most people are going to ask about the future, right? They're going to ask what's in, what's coming this year, what's coming this month. Um, people, uh, most people that I've encountered don't really want to know about their natal chart because they can look that up online. If they were interested in astrology in the first place, they probably already went to a website and printed a natal analysis of themselves. So, I mean, most people already have access to that or they've looked at that. So you're not going to be, I mean, a lot of requests are not natal based. A lot of requests are future based. And then when you get into the future based space, it's easy for me to say, when you get into that future based predictive astrology type stuff, this book is going to be a lot better as far as sort of easing you into it and doing that stuff. So talk about time maps, uh, eclipses. This book is so good. We're going to, sorry, I'm obsessing on this book, but, but after that book, this book is really good because, again, we have a ton of examples. We have real life situations and then what to look for in the chart that reflect those situations. Because a lot of predictive astrology is I have a billion things to look at. What's important? Which, which of these, you know, which of these, which of the oppositions are important? What's important? Because it's going to take five hours to talk about everything. So what's important? What should I go to for this person's question? And this is going to cover that space pretty well. It's going to cover that space pretty well. Because again, you have, you have your meat and potatoes questions like health, lovers, children, family, money. So there's a lot uh, in these sections that sort of show how to narrow down into the space of money, how to narrow down into success. If you're doing predictive stuff, hey, how's my, how's the money looking five now, six months from now, starting a business. So you're going to be able to get into that space with a lot of examples, a lot of what to look for type things in this particular book. And I think that's why it, it was worth the $18 for me. But again, you need to be at that intermediate level, you need to pretty much have memorized the basic astrology book and you need to be ready to jump into the next level. When you're ready to jump into that next level, I would get this. This this was about 18 bucks too. And then after that, I would get this. So that's the order that I would go in. So this is a, a nice intermediate slash advanced space. It's going to be better for you because it's a more general it's going to be a money maker because it does all of the big topics, children, money, love, etc. So this is going to be an excellent start to sort of learning how to make money with this type of stuff. So again, you need to be practiced with transits and everything else. Anyway, overall, I think this was worth the 18 bucks I paid for it. If it was more expensive, if this was in a 30 or 40 dollar range i'd be like yeah i don't know but 18 bucks i like it overall i like predicting events with astrology i think it was money well spent and that is my review let me know if you have any questions and please hit like and subscribe